Hi, so my name is Prem Asim Jain and in this lecture of Node.js tutorial we are going to learn about the difference between client-side JavaScript and server-side JavaScript. So once uh, Java, when, uh, so I'm talking about the history when JavaScript was initially created about 15 years or 20 years back it was doing very lightweight work on the browser of just doing some kind of validation which means uh, some kind of you know business logic which can run on the web browser if the value is an email or not and something like that. However, uh, it grew uh, uh, as uh, since it, it was powerful and as computing power grew, browser became more powerful. The uh, mm, uh, normal JavaScript which was just merely used for uh, validation on lightweight stuff has uh, replaced the um, client side uh, uh, heavy weight frameworks like uh, mm, struts from java and java swing applets and then majorly php and a lot of other stuff the reason is at the client side javascript has taken the uh, kind of uh, application it's not just a web page but it has taken the shape of an application which was data driven data driven means whenever uh, whatever data will come because uh, when ajax was invented uh, in 2005 or something then uh, you don't have to send or load the entire web page on the browser uh, because it was slow to make responses and send dump html pages so they have the smart web application which was sitting on the browser which was deciding which page would look like what we called it as spa which is single page application and then uh, only the data which was required that used to come and that was loading the uh, piece of the page asynchronously on need basis as soon as the request gets fulfilled uh, it was uh, you know showing it or displaying it so that's that's mainly about the client side so when uh, angular js is uh, one example react js backbone js and there are a lot many other javascript frameworks which have uh, you know came in uh, last last years and which became really successful and powerful so when javascript is sitting on browser uh, on the first request when all the libraries uh, for the javascript file gets loaded and then um, it uh, uh, acts as the application means it only needs the data uh, how page would be displayed how application would navigate all the information all the logics when they reside on client itself on the single load that becomes the client side javascript framework previously all this information was sitting on server and for each page load uh, all the information all the css everything has to come from the server and it was consuming lot of network bandwidth since uh, the client side javascript frameworks have replaced that that's why they became popular and the uh, you know server side uh, kind of ui framework like struts and other heavy weight uh, things which were uh, you know regenerating the response or the web page every time they become obsolete and they uh, they were thrown out of the market now uh, there is a fundamental or the very popular concept which is called as javascript everywhere which means uh, they have started uh, after the popularity of uh, ja uh, javascript application on client side they have started that on the server side itself now in a typical web application there is something which is called as client and server client is your browser and the server is something which processes the or which services the requests so if you uh, have requested on the server imagine it's a banking website so you want to withdraw 5 rupees from your account or 5 dollars. So for 5 dollars the server side code has to um, check if the request is authenticated, has to check in the database how much money do you really have in account, 
then it has to check uh, what is your uh, daily uh, amount retrieval limit if all checks are passed then it has, has to debit your account or subtract that amount and then add it to wherever you are transferred so there is a lot of business logic validation everything happens at the server side as well so previously this thing was getting done by using pop and still it is getting done by using java and other popular frameworks so uh, i mean frameworks written in java spring is one of them which is used very oftenly so they'll have dependency injection and everything on server side and there are a uh, lot many other popular python is one of the you know quick uh, spinning up server uh, language wherein you can write your server and it can serve for web application golang is really popular these days golang from google if you want very high optimization uh, you know api responses and request everything like that so uh, why javascript came in here is they wanted javascript everywhere because uh, mm, there is something which is called as json which is javascript object notation so it was uh, javascript was getting consumed in the ui uh, so uh, the response uh, you know takes time to get translated from a java object convert it into the javascript object every time the translation has to happen so they want to write something which natively understand the json object which which is essentially nothing but the javascript that was first thing second thing which motivated if a programmer is writing a web app uh, mm, since from the client side if he knows javascript he can also do some coding on the server side also so end to end uh, same uh, developer can work effortlessly just by knowing one language that was again another motivation of having the javascript on the server side third is uh, it has its own uh, benefits <coughs> of having the asynchronous call non blocking calls event driven programming which is uh, the core to javascript event driven programming so we'll understand that about deep in um, in a one of our future lectures what is event driven programming and we'll also have hands on approach about how the event driven programming actually works so we are seeing uh, here about uh, the web browser it's a typical three tier architecture so web browser will have client side application which will send some request the application will have some validation request would uh, be sent to the web server which will uh, do its valid again you know the processing stuff then it might go to the back end run logic database layer whatever is the data mm, same thing happens here so they, the main stack is popular one wherein you can have a MongoDB database in the database layer backend will talk to it directly basically uh, whatever your HTTP requests comes they'll get processed uh, in the middleware which would be your uh, uh, Node.js so again that is JavaScript object JSON object and in the web browser AngularJS again that is a javascript object so end to end everywhere it's javascript same programmer who knows javascript can uh, you know understand and do same stuff everywhere so it's easy for the programmer and also easy for the application because application does not have to uh, do any conversion anywhere so that makes it more efficient and more powerful so this is a lecture uh, you know concludes our understanding about uh, what is uh, client side javascript versus what is server side javascript and uh, how uh, javascript everywhere uh, works basically uh, everywhere javascript this is the blog i am going to put the link in the youtube video so if you want to learn more about it just go through this uh, blog it would help you uh, and thanks for watching